Okay, what we have here is we have a system set up. We used uh, a pressure sensor to, to indicate a level. And so uh, it's our level transmitter and it sends a signal to the, uh, PL to the PLC. And uh, it senses a pressure here from the level of the water and converts that into a signal. And then that does all the thinking and when it comes back, it sends a signal to this uh, pressure uh, trans or uh, transducer to uh, changes a electrical current into a pressure which is supplied from our uh, our air supply here and then uh, that pressure output gets sent to this control valve and uh, you can see the pressure right now is about seven and a half psi and so the pressure then pushes down on this needle which controls the valve and you can see the indicator level is a little less than 50 percent there which uh, permits a certain amount of water to flow through there to maintain a level. Right now we got the set point on the controller set for 50 percent. The range on the transmitter is 0 to 40 inches. So what's 50 percent of 40 inches? 20. So we're right there. We're slightly off. It's actually not a, an issue with the controller. It's an issue with the calibration. It does say we're right at 20, or right at 50 percent. So we've got a slight calibration error here with our transmitter. So this is kind of a cool setup because it's actually controlling something real. The other labs you've been building don't have a real process to hook to. It's just you have a transmitter, a controller, and a valve. This is actually controlling an actual process. So what I'll have you do is group around the PLC where we can see the screen, how we change the set point. 